Hello there, and welcome to a new gameplay mini-series for Age of Wonders 4. So, you guys asked me several times to show you gameplay footage of the build guide, so I do. And this is pretty much exactly what we're up to here. I'm playing my Reaver Golem build, the reworked one, into the Tier 2 story realm here. I'm going to play through the story in this mini-series a little bit, as I never find time to play these scenarios on my own, and this way we get the best of two worlds. You guys get to see the builds in action, and I get to see the story. Now, in the comment section you can freely dump whatever you want to see in action like that. I have posted a lot of builds, I will post a few more builds in the future for sure, and therefore just let me know what you want to see like this in action. We're playing the Enchanted Archipelago in this little mini-series, and I'll do my best to keep them going on a hard difficulty, because heck, why not? We'll either fail gloriously and learn something about it, or we'll, we'll see about that. So, we need to look for our faction here, Empires and Ashes, and we want to play our Dwarvish, Dwarven Survivalists. This is the one. <laughs> so we're starting out with the Tome of Enchantment. We're playing a Golem build, like I said. There we go. Let's get going. So, I felt like the astral sea connects yeah I, I i read that already so for all of you who don't know we're we we have to to summarize it quickly conquer a nautical realm where there's one big bad god here who's stronger than them all and our goal will be to defeat her I already started that a while ago, and then I didn't find the uh, patience to, to pull through. So, we need to explore Elia's prison. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to, we need to free the, uh, that um, girl from the Siren Goddess, exactly. Okay, so, we're playing Reavers, that means we are pretty good at warfare and such. I could have played a, a faction that is better off in terms of uh, seafaring, but I didn't want to adapt too hard. So, starting out with a workshop, and let's see, our starting troops are a stone spirit, mercenary, harrier. So, I'm going to be starting out with an extra observer. We have already a really large amount of troops available, so we don't need extra troops. We have and let's see the city is a free city we don't have whispering stones we are reavers after all so these guys don't really offer any cooperation to us there's a small monster den the first thing that i always like to do and look for in a new game is to see where we can settle down for another city i think up here looks pretty promising back there well there's silver tongue fruit Ah, well, I think we're, uh, we're, we're, we're oh, difficult. So, where we're going to go? Not quite there yet. Let's see. Let's see what auto combat will do for us. Yeah, sure, no. <laughs> Hate it like that. So, we're starting out with the enchantment tome, and therefore we're, uh, not really that, um, super powerful. But there's no good reason for us to, to lose troops like that. I don't even want to know what uh, weird shenanigans the uh, AI did there. So the basic strategy is very, very simple. We just let the enemy come. So let's see. We have our frontliners here uh, riled up like that. Do I have enough mana for that? Yeah, I do. At least do that once. So, we immobilized the enemy already, which is pretty nice. So only two of three can advance into us. There we go. That's a nifty uh, starting position. So, Reavers. Our melee dudes mark the uh, enemy, which increases the damage of our ranged dudes. That is very important to note. So, we could also... Well, let's see. I want to get rid of the penguins first. Let's do that. And let's take aim. And almost kill them. Shoot. 
Oh, well. Let's do that. And we'll... Uh, let's see if we can cast a net on them. Yes, we can. Brilliant. So, blind them for no retaliate. And let's smack. And I'll be killing that guy with a spell. These ogres, they are super annoying. They have a spell called Butcher's Cut, and probably that was the reason why one of my dudes died the other uh, moment. It has a fair chance of just instantaneously killing people. End of a line. Nothing more to say. And therefore, I'm not taking any chances, even if it was pretty fairly costly. So, we're uh, going to use our spear guys and sh use the drive back skill. And, uh, yeah. That's that. Trying to minimize the damage on my backliners and uh, pull it onto my tanky guys. So, 37 knowledge points. What do we research first? Sundering blades or purging arrows? So, purging arrows is pretty nifty, but uh, we'll. I'm going to go for sundering blades, as it will increase the uh, power of my frontliners. So, we're not able to summon a copper golem because I blew too much of my mana into combat, but that doesn't really uh, matter too much here. So, next turn, I will look with the uh, Watcher whether or not there's something to pick up there. So, Free City, uh, Shira Snowblood, Eden Dam, wherever that's supposed to be. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, so there's definitely a spot between Flotsam, and I bet that uh, little splash here is already eaten down. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to move my hero over there to build another city. So, Zessen will uh, go over there. Oh, there's another exclamation mark. So, let's see, auto combat. Don't let me down. There we go. That's better. So, do I want to keep a Brewer Ogre? Hell no. I mean, it's a cheap unit and all, and probably we, he would have done quite some heavy lifting on our side, but I'm playing a Golem build. I don't want that. So, I have now the uh, workshop done, and I personally am, if I can, looking for that library next, because... Knowledge points are so gosh darn valuable in this game. I can't overemphasize how powerful knowledge is. So, my ruler starts out with a restoration staff. I really, really recommend that. I'm learning the mark skill. I like that for the Reaver so much because the Reaver's support is kind of meh. And, uh, well, having a strong support skill right from the get go is amazing. Okay, so we definitely will build a city there. And there's Arcadia. All right, so uh, pretty useful already. So let's go for, for auto explore for, from here on. I saw enough. So we can then either conquer or destroy Arcadia, depending on the situation. A Dread Spider mount, so nah, nothing that my hero could wear, too bad. All right, so auto combat, don't let me down. Brilliant, I like that. So these simple com these simple battles, there's really not much going on during them. So um, I, I hope you guys don't mind if I'm skipping, them, especially those where there's only two enemies. So is this really a good spot for a new city? Hmm. Somehow not. Flotsam and Arcadia are competing with this spot so hard that I really have a hard time thinking about squeezing a city in between. Oh, let's see. There's, uh, ah, yeah, okay. There's uh, the leftovers of Eden Dam. I think the AI is uh, definitely nudging me towards building my first city there. I'm wasting a lot of early game time here, which bothers me a lot, but, uh, well, it is what it is. So, my library is well underway, and I'm going to go for Quarry. Let's see, none of these provinces is interesting right now. Decimus the Unwavering. So, 
The siren goddess will love us. As blessed children of Nimue, we only aim to please her. Okay. So, these are the fanboys of the local uh, maritime goddess, I see. Pact of loyalty with Flotsam. I don't know if we are able to bring up a pact of loyalty with somebody who we don't uh, can't even bring up uh, whispering stones with but to be sure I'm going to be claiming that province right next to you guys so you can't settle down on me it's my peace offer to you jokes aside we got that library instantaneously finished and I'm going to slap the steel hall right behind that because it's the best way for me that I can think of to progress here faster. So the rebuild of Flotsam. Let's see. Can I do that with uh, somebody else? I highly doubt it. Will only cost me a hundred uh, fame uh, Imperium. So that is really not too costly. Here we go. So we can now decide what kind of reward we want to take. Gold would be tasty, but I'll take the knowledge reward because knowledge is just always powerful. Basic seafaring. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing to get basic seafaring for free in an environment like this. So yeah, we could only dismantle the ruins with our uh, watcher here. Which is totally not what I want to do. Yeah, rebuilding Eden Dam is the best thing that we can do, I think. Alright, Sundering Blades resurged. And, uh, well, Engraving of Focus versus Spell Tempered Shields. That is not a hard decision. Engraving of Focus is extremely important for any Golem-centered build. Because it makes us able to give the, uh, the bonus um, marking mechanic from the Reavers onto our Golems, and that is extremely important. Otto D discarded the Drowned Recreants. Okay, he's not the favorite uh, boy toy of Nimue. And Stranded Creations, Western Survivor and Eastern Survivor. Burp, my Earth Mother, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Alright, the Drowned Recreants want me to destroy a large monster den. Oof. Yeah, I mean, why not? So, Aftermath? Ah, you have met the other rulers. I instantaneously finished that one. I see. So, we could get some extra population in Zessin or Imperium. I really don't want the uh, extra population in Zessin, honestly. I would prefer it a lot somewhere else. Alright, what a weird map this is so far. Purging Arrows versus Awakened Tools. Definitely going for Purging Arrows here. We can finally go for the Sundering Blades. Bothers me a lot that I didn't uh, find an opportunity yet to uh, build a city, but since we get city ruins right around the corner, it is totally okay. So, picking up the experience later, later, leader trait next, for the sake of my golems. So, well, military engineering. Hmm, I don't need it right now, but I might use it later. I have a pretty big uh, chunk of uh, Imperium available here, and therefore, well, look at that. There's a rogue marauder army. So, uh, that's a couple of Furies, an Arbalest Warrior, and a Dark Knight. I feel pretty confident that we are able to bash these guys, especially with our new uh, little tricks here. I mean, it is a army of 489, so it is a fair combat. So what is it, this? Uh, you encounter a group of trackers who are stalking a group of drowned recreants, I see. Yeah. Let's see. Auto combat. This will go not nearly as bad as I thought. This might be even the. I'm not sure if I can do that much better, but Will's gonna try because I want to document some some combat here. You guys are not watching this for only watching me auto combating. So, but um, 
I like to showcase the fights where there's something to showcase after all. So we're putting the people together. The biggest problem is this Dark Knight um, unit, which has a really, really strong AoE attack. Let's see. We have one of them dudes immobilized. We also ran out of mana with that one spill, so there's not more where that came from. Which is uh, sad, but it is what it is. We're definitely going to mark the... Uh, Dark Knights already, because I just want to get rid of their, uh, um, well, I just want to kill them as fast as I can, basically. Okay, so we have the uh, Dark Knight in our faces. There we go. So, let's see. Let's get started with a nice blinding attack. That didn't work out as intended, but it is okay. These fellas here, sadly, are... Oh, they're not taunted anymore. Wonderful. So we're going to use the drive-back attack from our archers. It's so amazing. I love this. So they didn't get any uh, counter-attack out of that. And most importantly, they also didn't suffer any... Uh, they, they also moved the, the, the dude away. Alright, I'm pinning down the guys here a little bit. They're now taking aim. Let's see, do I have one more unit? It's uh, only these two left. So, let's see. Mm, I surely can't mark them more, so we're uh, we're going to take a shot here. There we go. So, there's only one knight left, and I'm going to apply the restoration spell on my hero. So, this round we're going to suffer a wee bit, but, uh, well... Ah, look at that. Does that look familiar to you? It's exactly the outcome of the AIs. But that's okay. Sometimes you just have to uh, sacrifice somebody. And I keep saying to myself, if at the end of the day, my turn ended with a tier 1 unit for... Uh, uh, the death of a tier 1 unit for a victory overall, I did nothing wrong. Wow. That was a big whammy. So we're taking out that one. And now we need to think where we can drop down our archers for the most damage. I'm blocking two of these guys here this way. That's the best I can do for now. There we go. So doesn't that look very familiar to you? The AI is really good at playing this game by now. That's what I'm trying to say uh, with this uh, constant... Uh, does that look familiar to you? It's pretty cool. Yeah, blindness. Blindness on archers hurts them really a lot. And uh, we're going to go and position our dude here. To get a nice fat patch up. And here again, I'm positioning my spears in a manner that they can block two people at once. Let's see who we can shoot down. Oh, well, that looks pretty good. 45 damage. Man. That's what I love about these. So... I don't know why the enemy herbal... Ah, yeah, they, they, they missed. It was not a uh, intentional friendly fire action. Yeah, so uh, we lost one of our units. But as you see there, the Reaver's early game is pretty impressive if you have access to... Um, tier 2 units that early on, like we did here. See, 50%, still enough. Oh, well, tell you what, we're going to use the quick stab, as this is at least a guaranteed hit. There we go, looks the same as the AI's outcome, but I don't mind at all. We, uh, we did well, and I can just rebuild the guy, easy. So, we're uh, going to take the farms, and we're definitely going to retrain that Harrier. Usually I wouldn't, but our mana income is very, very low, so we're not able to spam out as many golems right now as I'd wanted to. Usually this build should be cranking out more golems, but, uh, well, it's, uh, it's really always different depending on your starting setup there, as you see. We're going to rebuild Eden Dam, and after that, set up an army to conquer Arcadia. It's at least uh, roughly my uh, 
my plan here. Large monster den. I wonder if this is the pirate cove around the corner there. So. Let's see. This is only a bunch of tier 1 units. We should be totally capable of, uh, of bashing them. So I'm hurrying the recruitment of my uh, Harrier unit so he can find his way up there faster. And we're definitely going to go for, let's see, a Mon of Warch. I like the idea of that. And a second Mage Lock. So necessary. Alright, since we already got basic seafaring, it's going to be no problem whatsoever to embark our units. Purging arrows. Brilliant. This is right now not as important as, but uh, it ain't unimportant either. So, I'm building a second farm here, because double farm is the requirement for the tavern boost. And as you see here, our dudes are already slightly angry. I don't know if it's, it's seriously uh, the, uh, the best or one of the better choices to go for. I just know that I like this uh, type of action here. So, next turn we can take down the pirate cove. I think this is fast enough. We are still at turn uh, 10 after all. We've also finished our research. So, one more research cycle necessary. We're going to go for the uh, spell tempered shields. Or, wait a sec. No! Ah! No! Ugh. Designate target. I, I, I know. This uh, spell is just not good for my faction, you know? We don't have shield units for a long, long time. It'll take until iron golems until we got these. Ah, uh, I'll, 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 I'll stick to my decision now, I think. So, what do we have here? Plate bearer, specialist engineer, beast master. It's pretty nifty. Country animal is nice. Pioneer. Oh yeah, I'll take that. This is very, very useful. Eden them will profit a lot from that. So, here's a nice little trick. We're going to use now the uh, Rock Golem to engage the combat here. Ugh. I hate sea combat, right? But I can't accept the loss of my Overseer Light. Sea combat is one of the things where I feel like uh, the game really feels pretty crappy still. I, I, I don't like it at all, alright? But it is what it is. So I'm not gonna use the patch up from my uh, from my supporters right away. The regeneration from my main hero is enough for me. I want to have that uh, that flash heal if necessary. So I am afraid that one more suppressing barrage is a necessary evil. All right, we suppressed one of their fighters. That was exactly what I've been after. It is very 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 useful to be able to do so. So let's mark that shield guy. I think uh, that's one of the people that I wanted to bring down early on. I hate punching ships, but it is what we are doing now. And Spirit Blast on you. Now let's see. I really hope that with a nice dosage of take aim, we get down. All right. Let's see. Ah, that net didn't uh, hold down the ship. Alright. What ifs? It works. Alright, let's take down that one. Nice blitz heal necessary over there, so that is why we uh, held it back. So now we can patch up the spears. There we go. Bothers me a bit that so far we were entirely unable to summon a singular golem in a golem build, but uh, well, we get there. It's just in the very early expansion phase, 
I prefer now to enchant my units and use the suppressing barrage where necessary. There we go. I got legit no clue how they managed to lose the Overseer, but, well. I also cannot have the, um, this, this thing here lingering next to my city. It's absolutely uh, not okay. All right, we're taking Summon Undead, as I love to have a summoner there. Now let's see, well, let's take Inspiring Leader to make stuff cheaper. And now we're going to start summoning for good. Arcadia sent a war party. How fitting, I'm sending my own war party right now there as well. Ha, brilliant. Okay, we're making good progress here on that end. Let's see, we're going to disembark here and take that location. Two tier one units. And that's supposed to be hard difficulty, huh? Ah, uh, this will give us exactly what we required. So that's the that's the mana we need. Alright, I am going to move now. Um nothing, because we ain't got no movement points left. I obviously want to summon the, uh, I need that uh, Purging Arrows thing. I obviously want to summon the Golems into the uh, Hero's Banner who has Experienced Leader, because that'll give them an extra um, XP each turn. So we're not going to go for the Chain Spire, even if we had the necessary money to do so. Not yet. What I want to do first is bring up the Tavern, and then we somehow, I think a Stone Mason might be in order. Ah, uh, now I wasted time on both things. Yeah. I didn't play so well here on my time management, but whatever. Just realized that spell temper shields will be useful in the long run. More than the other spell. Because now I will um, focus my mana output a little bit more into summoning more golems, so yeah. That is what it is. All right. So our movement radius is uh, really troublesome low. And that guy will go in here. And we're continuing the summoning. All right, Steresk has been founded. We finally have a second city, turn 13. Ah, oh, well, I'm not super happy with it, but it could be worse. So, we're starting out with a workshop, as I don't think that Palisade Walls are super necessary right now. I'm also going to print out another Observer, so we can make sure that we got ourselves some more of that. I'm also going to speed up that Mage Lock, as I want to have a third one as quick as possible, and the other Mage Lock can now easily just join already the banners, and then we have a nice setup there. <laughs> Alright, look at them fools trying to pillage me. That is not going to become you will. Alright, so one of that golems goes in here. Then we're uh, moving this fella over here. And the golems. The golems all belong in here. Are we summoning another one? Not yet. But we will. So I'll be moving yet another person. Let's take that mercenary into the banner here. And I think now we're on a good spot. So let's see. Auto combat! <laughs> well, that is way too much damage on my troops. At this point, the build is already very, very powerful. We have now a endless slew of throwaway units, basically, because 30 mana on that copper golem is basically nothing. Yeah, I, I picked up a trade that has been already uh, criticized a while, uh, a while ago, just for the sake of having a stronger early game. That is right, but uh, I personally see so much profit out of that, because my army power can now explode out of that. Whereas, if I had not 50% less costs in summoning golems, I would have much more trouble getting everything 
to get her. So, summoning a Banshee and uh, sending her in to just have a little bit of a scream. This has a double uh, benefit for us. For one, it debuffs the enemy, and the other thing is that our enemies will be ignoring the Banshee in their backs. Ah, no. They're, uh, you know, you see, they're a little bit busy with that girl. And we can now just go for a nice and nifty flank and attack here. I like that. So, let's go for that patch up. Really noticed that I probably need more of these bad boys. And let's start marking the hero. The hero is always the most important thing to take down in an enemy uh, compound. But I will try to do the blinding attack on the arches, as this hurts the most. Spears are always extra effective against heroes, because heroes tend to be mounted quite a lot. And uh, yeah, we're sending in the Harrier here. And boom, just like that. All right. And let's see. With some arm aiming help. Oh boy. I'd rather take the 80% shot. There we go. As you can see, it was a pretty much a bad joke of war enemies to attack us like that. Sadly, we don't have any dark element uh, on us to uh, utilize the uh, sacrificed hero. But what it definitely does, it trains your troops, which is pretty valuable on itself. All right, so there we go. And we even got ourselves some war spoils. That is also nice. Spell tempered shields has been researched and our second tome will be the Tome of Zeal, which is pretty much an explosive momentum gainer for our damage output. Legion of Zeal is exactly what we want, and uh, seeing how long it takes to research that gives me an impression about how horrible my knowledge income is. That shouldn't take that long, but uh, yeah, well, sometimes it is what it is. So, we're learning Restore, and let's see, Mace of Cleaving, hell yeah. That gives her a power cleave attack, and we even have a better shield. Things are getting better and better. That Dread Spider, and just like that... Our melee hero is something else. There we go. So, Nimue is now at war with us. Well, that had to happen sooner or later. And we're going to slap down yet another golem. So, my friends, end of episode one. We're going to continue next episode with more of this. We're going to see and uh, conquer Arcadia. And after that, well, let's see how we can take down Nimue. Thanks for watching. Like I said in the intro, let me know what you think about this. And if there are other builds that you want to see played out like this, yeah. please let me know which ones I'm down. I love to do so. So, see you guys next time. Drop me your comments, thumbs up, subscriptions, whatever. Feel free to support the channel. There's links for that in the description box below. And a big, big thanks to all of you who do. And if there's any build idea that you want to see realized as a guide, of course, let me know as well. So, see you guys next time, and have a wonderful day.